Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with game two of the series between the 1968 Baltimore Orioles and the 1991 New York Yankees. The Yankees will be at home for this particular game. They lost game one, however, 9-1. to now, I did get a uh, response to one of my videos, for, to, the, uh, to the, previous, uh, the video for the previous game, that mentioned that um, Steve Sachs is a, can play third base as well as second base, and he's a second base three and a third base four, whereas Pat Kelly was a second base two and a third base four, and... Pat Kelly was uh, in the running for the gold glove at second base in 1991. So I should play Pat Kelly at second, which would make a second base two and a third base four instead of a second base three and a third base four, which makes sense to me. However, I do want to point out that the reason that the Yankees lost game one had nothing to do with their infield defense. But that having been said, I did make that change. So now we have the Orioles visiting the Yankees. Will be the same lineups. There were no injuries, as I recall, or at least no multi-game injuries last time. So we will go with the uh, same lineups. And uh, the uh, pitching for the Yankees at home and finishing his warm-up tosses is Jeff Johnson. Now, I don't remember Jeff Johnson, and probably because he was 6-11 and with a 595 earned run average. However, he did pitch 156, or 127 innings and allowed 156 hits. Um, he will be the second starter for the team. And he'll be going up against Jim Harden. For the Orioles, who was 18 and 13 with a 2.51 earned run average, obviously Jeff Johnson will have a short leash. But then again, the Yankees bullpen isn't that great either. So uh, let's get this. Let's get the party started with Paul Blair facing Jeff Johnson, and that's a 4-5, which is a triple one to four or a double, and it's already bad news <laughs> as Paul Blair leads off with a double. That brings up Don Buford, 6-7, which is a single one to 15. And that is going to be a single. And it is only a one base single. So runners are at the corners after two batters. I was also informed that I did not list Paul or uh, Don Buford in my listing, lineup listing. Um, at the start screen when the uh, Orioles came to bat. So that was an oversight on my part, and uh, he, but he was playing. So Frank Robinson's up, runners at the corners. 1-6 is a strikeout. That was a key strikeout right there uh, by Jeff Johnson. And now with runners at the corners, and uh, one out, we got Boo Powell up, and he gets a 6-9. And that is a strikeout. Jeff Johnson coming back huge after allowing the first two guys on base. And then that brings up Davey Johnson, and he gets a 6-8. And that's a fly ball to left. So the Orioles had what looked like a sure run and then had it reduced to nothing. As Davey Johnson is out, and no runs coming across for Baltimore. And that brings up Roberto Kelly facing Jim Harden. And he gets a 110, which is a line out to third, one away. Steve Sachs is up. He gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball to third, two away. And Don Mattingly... Gets a home run, one to four, or a double. And that's going to be a home run. Don Mattingly takes it deep 
off of Jim Harden. And that's the first hit allowed, and it's a homer. And that brings up Kevin Moss, and he gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. First strikeout for Harden, but the Yankees do strike for one on a Don Mattingly, Donnie Baseball home run. That brings up Kurt Bleffery, and he gets a 210, which is a walk. So Bleffery is aboard. He walks. And uh, that brings up Brooks Robinson, who gets a 310, which is a pop out to third. One away. That brings up Andy Etcheberin, who gets a 1 9, which is a strikeout. Two away. Strikeout for Johnson. This is number three on the day. And Mark Belanger gets a 210, which is a single. One of the weakest hitting Orioles in this lineup. Gets a single to keep the inning going. Third hit allowed by Jeff Johnson and Paul Blair is up and he gets a 2-2 which is a fly ball to right and the Orioles are out of the second with no runs. Bringing the Yankees back to the plate. Jesse Barfield's up. He gets a 4-6 which is a strikeout. One away. Matt Noakes gets a 1-9, which is a home run 1-18. to And no, it isn't. It's a double. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, so Matt Noakes with a double. Harden allows his second hit. Mel Hall is up. He gets a 6-10, which is a catcher card. X... That is Echebaron. He is a 3. That is a 16. 16 and 3 at catcher is a wild pitch followed by a foul out. So now we have a runner at third, 90 feet away with two down. And that brings up Pat Kelly. And Pat Kelly gets a 212, which is a foul out plus injury. And he stays in the game. He's only temporarily injured. And the Yankees get no runs there. They they came close. Matt Noakes came close, but the ball hit the top of the wall and bounced back into the field of play. So Don Buford's up, leading off the third. He gets a 6-7, which is a single one to 15. And that is a single. Buford with the hit. He is three for five in the series. Jeff Johnson, his fourth hit allowed. Frank Robinson comes up. He gets a 6-10, which is a catcher card X. That is Matt Noakes, and Matt Noakes is a three. That's a 13. 13 and three is a foul out. One away. Frank Robinson out. Boob Powell is up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout. Two away. It's odd that uh, Jeff Johnson is pitching better than Scott Sanderson did. Much better. Davey Johnson gets a 1-10, and that's a ground ball to the pitcher, and he's out. No runs come across for the Orioles, who still are looking for their first run of this game. They, got, they had plenty of them last game, but they're looking for their first one this game. And now Alvaro Espinosa steps up in the third. Gets a 3-8, which is a double one to four. Or a single. And it's going to be a single. So Alvaro Espinosa gets a hit. Roberto Kelly is up. That's a 4-2, which is a fly ball to center field one away.
Steve Sachs is up. He gets a 110, which is a single one asterisk. So runners can only advance one. The runner can only advance one base on that hit. Don Mattingly is up, and he's got a 3-5, which is a ground ball into a double play at first base, and that gets the Yankees out of the inning. So he put the team ahead, one nothing in the first, but he hit into a key double play right there, and now we go to the top of the fourth, where the Orioles are still looking for a run and losing one nothing. Kurt Bleffery is up. And he gets a 1-5, which is a home run one or a fly ball. And it's going to be a fly ball to right field. He is out. Brooks Robinson's up. He gets a 1-10, which is a double. Just a rip and a double down the line. And he's four for six. Fifth hit allowed by Jeff Johnson. Andy Etchebarren's up. He gets a 3-6, which is a strikeout, so that's two away. And Mark Belanger gets a 1-7, which is a fly ball to left field. And Jeff Johnson is just pitching out of his mind right here. I mean, the man had a 595 earned run average. And this is in 1991, when a 595 burn run average was was extremely bad. It's not good now, but it was extremely bad in the 90s. And 127 innings pitched, he gave up 156 hits and 15 home runs. Kevin Moss is up. For seven, he walks. So Moss gets aboard with a leadoff walk. Jesse Barfield's up. He gets three seven, which is a strikeout. Matt Noakes gets a two nine, which is a fly ball to right field. That's two away. And that brings up Mel Hall. And Mel Hall gets a one nine, hits the ball to ground to second base, and he is out. We go to the top of the fifth, still a one nothing game, a pitcher's duel between Jim Harden, which you could understand, and Jeff Johnson, which you might not. Paul Blair is up, he gets a 6-12, which is a uh, ground ball to the pitcher, and he's out. Blair is retired. Buford's up, he gets a 2-5, which is a home run 1-8. Or a fly ball, and that is going to be a fly ball to the right fielder. And then Frank Robinson comes up. That's a 6-5. That is a walk. So he walks Frank Robinson. And Boog Powell is up at the plate. He gets a 110, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. This is kind of crazy. I like this, though. Terrible pitcher shuts out the 68 Baltimore Orioles. You don't really want that headline in the Baltimore uh, Sun, but that might be the headline. Pat Kelly, 5-3, is a fly ball to the right fielder. The right fielder for the Orioles is Buford, and he's a 2 that's a 16, which I believe is an out, and it is. So Pat Kelly's out. And that brings up Alvaro Espinosa. He gets a 3-9, which is a triple one or a double. And that's going to be a double. So Alvaro Espinosa is three for six. He's one of their better hitters this series. Fifth hit allowed by Harden. Roberto Kelly up. 5-7. That is going to be a double one to seven or a single. And that's going to be another run for the Yankees. Single by Roberto Kelly. Knocks in Alvaro Espinosa.
And that brings up Steve Sachs. And Steve Sachs gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball to the shortstop into a double play. And ends the inning for the Orioles. They get out of that inning without any further damage. But another run comes across. And Jeff Johnson is pitching a shutout against the 68 Orioles who are coming to the plate with Davey Johnson. And he gets a 2-11, which is a pop-out to third. One away. And it's a good thing that Jeff Johnson is pitching like this because the or the uh, Yankee bullpen is not very good. Bluffery is up. He gets a 6-6. That's going to be a fly ball to right, two away. And that brings up Brooks Robinson, and he gets a 5-4, which is a fly ball to the center fielder. That's Roberto Kelly. He's a 2. That is a 4 that may not be good, but it is. It's fine. It's an out. So Brooks Robinson's out. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. The Yankees shutting out the 68 Orioles. And the Yankees coming to plate with Mattingly up, 6-8. That's a triple one to three or a single. And that's going to be a single for Donnie Baseball. Also the manager of the Marlins currently, and previously the manager of the LA Dodgers. And we've got Moss, no Moss up, and he walks. So the Yankees have the first two guys on, and this is not even, you know, this is ceasing to be funny now for Orioles fans that are probably watching. So they are going to get up in the bullpen They will get Roger Nelson up in the Orioles bullpen. And we have Jesse Barfield up, no outs. And that's a 4-7, which is a walk. Harden walks, the base is loaded. Barfield with a walk. Base is loaded. The Orioles are still going to play for the double play. They have a high-octane offense, so they can score a lot of runs. They would rather see a ground ball turn into a double play than try to cut one run off at the plate. Noakes is up at the plate. He gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout, so there's one away. Only the third strikeout for Harden. Mel Hall is up. He gets a 6-11, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. And Harden is a 2 defensively. And that is a 9. That will be an out. And it will be an out double play. Harden pulls the double play off with Mel Hall. And uh, the Yankees do not get any runs there. They had a really great scoring opportunity. And they blew it. But if Jeff Johnson keeps pitching like he has been, that's not going to matter. Andy Etcheberrin is up at the plate. And he gets a 6-5, which is a walk. Jeff Johnson walks his first batter. And they will be getting some activity up in the Yankee bullpen. And that will consist of, right now, John Hay Habian, Mark Belanger's up, and they're going to sacrifice with Belanger, and a six, that works, runner goes to second, one away. Paul Blair is up with one away, that's a three six, which is a ground ball shortstop, so that's two away. And with two down, Don Buford up at the plate. He gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball. Also now joining Habian, Habian in the bullpen is Steve Howe.
And we will go to the bottom of the seventh with Pat Kelly up at the plate. Five eight is a fly ball, one away. Habian pitched or er, uh, Harden pitched two hundred and forty four innings that year, so he can go longer. He can go long if he needs to. Alvaro Espinosa gets a four six, which is a strikeout, two away. And Roberto Kelly gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. No runs come in again, and it's still a 2-0 lead for the Yankees. And they're going to let Jeff Johnson start, it looks like. They're going to let Jeff Johnson start the 8th. Frank Robinson's up. He gets a 6-6, which is a fly ball, one away. Boob Powell gets a 5-10, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. He's a 4. That's a 7. That's going to be something. 7-4 and four is a one-base error by Steve Sachs, who is now at third base. And that was Boob Powell, who got aboard by that error. And Sachs, who made it. And now they will bring in, with one down, in the 8th, so... Um, <clears throat> Johnson goes seven and a third, really great innings. He allows six hits, strikes out five, and allows three walks. So far, no earned runs. Uh, that could change. But they will bring in, for right now, John Habian. Habian, in 1991, was 4-2, pitched uh, 90 innings, allowed 73 hits, and had a 230 earned run average. And that will bring up uh, to the plate <clears throat> Davey Johnson, with one on and one out. And he gets a 5-8, which is a pop-out to, to uh, first base. Davey Johnson's out. And Kurt Bluffery gets a 2-5, which is a ground ball to the second baseman, and he's out. No runs for Baltimore, and that brings up the Yankees. And they are going to, the Orioles now are going to bring in Roger Nelson. So, Harden went 7 and in comes Roger Nelson. And he will pitch to Steve Sachs. Here in the bottom of the eighth. And that's a 1-5, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. Sachs is out. Don Mattingly, Donnie Baseball, gets a pop out to second. And that brings up Kevin Moss, no Moss, and he strikes out. Strike out for Nelson. And so here it is, we're in the top of the ninth. The Orioles are going to need two runs. And not only that, but that's going to be it for Habian. He's only going to, Habian only pitches two thirds. And they're going to bring in Steve Howe. Steve Howe in 1991 was three and one with a 168 earned run average. He allowed 39 hits in 48 innings. And Brooks Robinson will be the first man to try to face him and try to scratch these two, work on scratching out two runs against Howe. 
That's a 5-5, five, five, which is a strikeout. One away. Andy Etcheberin gets a 6-12, which is a fly ball to center field. Two away. And that brings up none other than Mark Belanger. you got to believe they're going to pinch hit for Mark Belanger. They want a guy who can get on base. Uh... Well, they don't have too many guys that can get on base. Oh, yes, they do. They have one guy who can definitely get on base, and that is Merv Rettenmund. So, Merv Rettenmund. Well, come on to pinch hit. And he gets a 6-6, six, six, and that is a pop-out. And Merv Rettenman is the last out of the second game, which Baltimore loses by the score of 2-0. They get shut out. Howe pitches one inning, gets the save. Habian gets the hold. And surprisingly, Jeff Johnson gets the win, going seven and a third, allowing six hits, striking out five walking only three and giving up no earned runs. Um, the loss goes to Harden, but actually Harden pitched well too. He, allowed, he pitched seven innings, gave up seven hits, struck out five, walked three, allowed a home run and only two earned runs. So that means we're going back to Baltimore for game three, and this series is tied Let's see if the 91 Yankees have enough left in the tank to pull this one out. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.